first we need to uh, write the equation, then balance it before we can do any uh, stoichiometry. So uh, what's going on here is magnesium reacts with oxygen. We've done this in our lab. Uh, we've seen this equation a couple times. All right, magnesium is metal. It's going to burn in uh, oxygen in, in the air. That's a gas, and that's going to produce magnesium oxide and um, that's that ashy looking thing. Uh, all right, and so by the way, this is a two positive cation and two negative cation. They're going to cancel out. Okay, uh, let's balance this. Uh, we need a two there because there's two oxygens on the left side, and we also need two there now because now there's two uh, magnesiums on the right side. So two one two looks like the balance equation. We're gonna. The question is asking us um, find the mass of magnesium oxide, okay, right there, and it is giving us both reactants. Oh boy! All right, so we're gonna have to do stoic twice, um, once with the magnesium metal, and then once with the uh, uh, what color should we do? Uh, once with the oxygen, okay, and then we'll figure out what the limiting reagent is and the uh, limiting and excess reagents. All right, let's get the. Uh, this is all mass. All of this is mass. So we'll have to get the molar masses of all of these. Um, it's not too bad because these are small compounds. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, magnesium, doing a, this orange color, we're given 2.40 grams of Mg. That's magnesium. And we want to convert that to moles. Once we have moles, we can convert it to anything else we wish. All right, so we need to get rid of grams. Um, so that means grams of magnesium goes on the other side of our conversion factor. And looking on the periodic table, uh, magnesium has a molar mass of 24.31. I'm just going to take this out to four digits. That way I can round it to three. Um, and that's the molar mass of magnesium. All right, I'm going to cancel out these units. Step two is to uh, convert to the desired substance. So we were given information about magnesium and it's asking us about um, information about magnesium oxide. So we need a mole ratio uh, between moles of magnesium and moles of magnesium oxide. Okay, in our balance equation, that is a two to two ratio, or you can say one to one. I'll just put two to two and we can just for visual purposes. Sorry about that. I had to uh, pause the video and I uh, just got interrupted. Uh, so we, we just, looks like we just got done the mole ratio. Uh, we have moles of magnesium and now we need to uh, convert that to the desired unit. Um, it's asking us for grams or mass of magnesium oxide. I'm sorry, did I say magnesium? We have magnesium oxide. So we need to convert that to grams of magnesium oxide using the molar mass. So one mole of magnesium oxide to grams of magnesium oxide. Um, we'll do that um, right over here. We found out earlier magnesium has a molar mass of 24.31 and oxygen is 16.0 off the periodic table. So that's Boy, 40.31 is the molar mass for magnesium oxide. 40.31 in one mole. All right, cancel those units out. Punch this in our calculator. Take our calculator, 2.4 divided by 24.31. Uh, times 40.31. All right, I'm not going to do three sig figs yet because uh, this may not be our answer. I'll just take this out to, uh, oh, yikes, 9796. Huh, All right, grams of magnesium oxide. All right, so that's how much uh, magnesium oxide we can make with the given amount of magnesium. Now we need to figure out. Uh, the same with the 10 grams of, uh, what color is that green? 
with the 10 grams of uh, oxygen. 10 grams of oxygen. All right, so starting with 10 grams of O2, convert that to moles. All right, one uh, molar mass of O2 is 32 grams, 32.00 if you wish. Cancel that out, cancel the units. Now we need the mole ratio between what we have right now is moles of O2, and we want to get that in terms of uh, moles of magnesium oxide. Uh, and looking at our balanced equation, that's a one to two ratio. It's a one to Get rid of some of this paint, one to two ratio, and cancel. Oops, wrong shade. Cancel, cancel. Now we can use uh, our molar mass to convert to uh, the desired unit. All right, so we want to get rid of moles of magnesium oxide and turn that into grams of. It's the same thing. I'm just we just did that earlier. So 40.31 grams is the molar mass of magnesium oxide. Cancel, cancel, punch, punch, punch. All right, 10 divided by 32 times two times 40.31. Whoa, not even close. Um, unless I made a mistake. Okay, so we don't need all these sig figs. This is going to be uh, eight. You know what? I'm just going to. Eraser. Okay. Good. So there's our, uh, there's our answer. This is known as a theoretical yield. It's how much we can make given these ingredients. And this is going to be the limiting reagent because uh, that's what's limiting the production of the product, magnesium oxide. All right, and then this is going to be left over. So this is known as the excess reagent. All right, so I think we answered all parts. All right, I'm back because uh, I spoke too soon. I'm not done. Uh, the part, um, the last part here didn't just say identify. It asked what is the mass remaining of the excess uh, mass? Another, that's fine. Where do you, uh, okay, so let's, let's finish this off. All right. So um, how much of the, uh, how much, uh, all right, we left, <laughs> oxygen is left over, but how much of it is left over? To answer that question, we want to see how much of it actually got used up. All right, so we're going to start with the uh, moles of the limiting reagent. I should have saved this number earlier, but that's okay. All right, so um, we, a um, couple ways you can do this. You can start with, uh, you know what, let's just do that. Ah, let's just, all right, 2.40 magnesium is what we started with, and the molar mass is uh, 20, right, just this part right here, just gonna redo that. Grams of magnesium, one mole. Yikes. Cancel, cancel. All right, let's see how many, uh, how many moles of magnesium um, we have. Okay, so um, actually, we, we can just do the uh, do. You know, I'll do this step by step, so it's easier to follow. All right, uh, two point four zero divided by twenty four point three one is uh, uh, okay. Zero point zero nine eight seven moles of magnesium. I was going to do this all in one step, but now uh, I think it's easier to follow. So now I can turn that into how many of the, uh, how many, uh, how much oxygen do we use, right? So we can use uh, moles, convert that to oxygen, 
we want to see how much of this amount of uh, magnesium will use up uh, moles of oxygen. Okay, so the mole ratio between uh, magnesium and oxygen is 2 to 1 in the balance equation. Right. For every 2 moles of uh, magnesium, it will use up uh, half of that, 1 mole of oxygen. All right, 2 to 1. Cancel, cancel. All right, now we can turn this into grams, and that's how much of it was used up. All right, so 1 mole of O2, 32.00 grams of O2. Cancel, cancel. All right, let's uh, plug this in our calculator. Um, it's, I still have it saved in my calculator, so I'm just going to divide that by uh, 2, multiply by 32. Right, so I have um, 1.579597. All right, let me, that's kind of excessive there. Don't need all that. Let's just do a 1.5. Uh, what am I doing here? 1.58, because uh, this is, we're, we're subtracting now, so it's not going to, you know what, I'm just going to, 1.5796 uh, grams of O2 it was actually used, right? But we started with 10, right? So let's just subtract. That's how much we started. That's how much oxygen we used by with the uh, with the magnesium. So this is how much we're going to be left over with. Uh, Ten minus one point five seven nine six. All right, so we have eight point four two. Now I can do uh, three sig figs. Grams of O two left over. All right, and we can turn that into. Volume, we can turn it into number of molecules. You just got to use the mole is the, the key. All right, so now we are done.